Hi everyone, this is Bryce with Blackpool Creative and uh, here I'm going to show you how to set up uh, the Flickr interestingness feed as your screensaver in Windows, uh, particularly uh, Windows 7, um, which is pretty cool and I'll show you why. Um, so here we have uh, the Flickr website. Um, of course Flickr uh, is well known for their photos and, and really good quality photos. Um, They've got quite a few uh, great photographers on there that are uploading great photos from all over the world all the time. And if you go here to uh, this Explore um, link, you can start to see and get a, an idea for uh, the kind of photos that are put on to, to Flickr all the time. One of the things that I like uh, about uh, uh, Flickr is they provide this interesting uh, type of tagging of the photos. They call it interestingness, which is kind of a funny word, but um, it, it does a pretty good job. And you can go to it uh, by clicking this link right here. Um, and you can get uh, the photos that they uh, have tagged as interesting for the last seven days. And you can keep reloading this page and getting a, a full, a different set of, of photos each time you do it. Um, the way they pick these photos, if you're interested, you can go to here and it'll tell you about the interestingness feed. They use a, an algorithm that, that tracks click-throughs and a number of comments and number of uh, people that are marking it as favorite and so on uh, to get them. So they're, they're pretty quality photos uh, that, that end up in this feed. And uh, I thought it would be fun to, to take these and make them into a screensaver. Um, Last year, I, I actually took the, the Flickr interestingness and uh, turned it into a dynamic theme for Windows so that it would change the desktop wallpaper to be uh, to download those photos and set the wallpaper about every 30 minutes to a different, really interesting photo. And uh, you can find that uh, on the Blackpool Creative blog. Um, but today, I'm going to show you how to uh, set it as the screensaver as well, which is pretty cool. You, you get to see more of the photos uh, typically uh, in a screensaver faction. And so uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need a way to show an RSS feed um, as a screensaver. Um, there's probably several out there. The one that I've chosen uh, is the Google Photos uh, screensaver, which used to be part of the uh, Google Pack, which is no longer available, but you can, uh, I believe it's still bundled with Picasa. So if you have Picasa loaded on your machine, uh, it might uh, already be there um, because I believe it comes pre-installed with Picasa. If you don't, there's a link in uh, the post uh, on my blog with uh, a link to download the Google Photos screensaver directly. It's a zip file. Um, you can see it here comes with just with a couple files inside. You'll need to pull out that gphotos.scr and drop that file into your your Windows. If you're on a 64-bit machine, it'd be uh, Windows sys uh, wow 64 directory. Uh, if you're on a 32-bit machine, I believe it goes into Windows uh, system 32. And you'll just dump that file right into that directory. It's kind of the way you install a screensaver. There's mine right there in the syswow64 directory. Once you've done that, um, you can uh, bring up the uh, screensaver uh, console or control panel. And in the screensaver list, you should find Google Photos screensaver. So click on that and then settings. And this is the settings for the Google Photo screensaver. It's got things like you can adjust the visual effect, uh, transitions between photos, how often to change the photo, whether to show captions, which on, on the screensaver we're setting up would, would show the title and the author of the photograph. Here you can set up uh, uh, to display photos from different places on your computer. Um, but if you're just interested in uh, doing the Flickr feed, then you just uncheck those boxes. Uh, the final one here, photos from public sites, you want to keep checked because uh, that's what we're going to use to pull in the photos from Flickr. So check that and then click on configure. And here you can see I've already put in this feed, um, but you most likely won't have anything there, so it'll be blank. And uh, this area down here will also be blank. So what you're going to do then is uh, you're going to take the feed 
uh, URL that uh, I've put onto the blog post, uh, which is also right here. Um, so you can copy that onto your clipboard um, or get it here from the from the video as you can see it and paste it into that box right there. So it'll look something like that. And then you'll click on add. And up here you'll see verifying um, and it'll think for a second about it and then it'll have a check mark and it'll be all set to go. So then you'll just click on uh, OK to exit out of there and uh, it should be all set up. So you'll hit OK to exit out again. Of course you can set the screensaver to turn on however uh, after however number of minutes you want. Um, but then uh, if you want to get a sense for um, the kind of pictures uh, that it pulls in, you can just click on preview. This gives you an idea of, uh, of what it looks like. So these are photos I haven't even seen before. It's, it's pulling them in live uh, directly from the Flickr interestingness. So that's an interesting one with the bubbles. That's kind of cool. Uh, a little bit of graffiti here. Graffiti art. You get all kinds of photos from uh, all all over the place. Uh, sometimes uh, they're they're not uh, so great, and if that's the case, you can you know just move the mouse and and uh, and uh, it'll get out of out of the picture. Usually, though, most most of the the photos that come up are, are pretty good. They're well taken, well uh, uh, well thought out uh, photos from from pretty good uh, photographers and just really creative things as you can see here um, so so that's uh, that's basically how you do it um, there's probably other types of screensavers that can also pull in RSS feeds I don't know if it will work with uh, this uh, this URL this feed URL uh, but you could try it um, but uh, otherwise that is a way to uh, to set up Flickr interestingness as your your screensaver in Windows 7. So I hope you enjoy it.